Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Brian Gandy with Sustainable Terrains and today I'm going to do a quick rundown of the functionality of what's become my favorite meter in the garden. Uh, it's the Hannah Grow Line 9814 and it's a temperature, pH, EC, and TDS all in one meter and it's just got a remote probe on the cable here. Super simple once you get through the setup and functionality, which is what I'm gonna focus on. And it's got a quick calibration solution, which I've always wondered why they had these little packets and stuff, but I'll get into it. Uh, but this one all-in-one meter beats my other two old rust bucket um, EC and pH pins uh, because of the accuracy, durability, calibration, and all that stuff. So. Yeah, thanks for watching. It's a great little meter. Um, we'll go through the functions and see what it does. Right. So first things first, I'm just gonna power it on real easy. And it tells you the battery when you turn it on. This one's still at 100%. I've been running this thing for a couple months now. Um, according to the rep, the higher the battery, the more accurate it is. So you wanna keep your battery obviously charged or swapped out. Um, this doesn't charge, so you just want to keep the battery swapped. All right, first things first, we're going to go into this embedded menu. And you want to hold it. It's going to go through quick. That's the calibration. And then the second thing is setup. And then you let off. So here's where you can toggle between Fahrenheit and Celsius. And this is auto off. So right now it's set for eight minutes. It can go to 60 minutes and this will let it stay on all the time. So we just leave it at eight minutes, that way it turns off when it's, uh, we don't kill the battery. Um, quick cal or standard calibration, we'll get into that a little bit down the road. Beep, turn it on just for demonstration. Um, info, this is probe info. It can only be done when it's in standard calibration. Um, we'll get into that function a little later too. So here's the conversion factor. If you want to run PPM for total dissolved solids, it's either the 500 or 700 scale. And then it just brings you back out to the main screen. So again, go through the quick cal to set up and toggle all the way through. So that's uh, the main menu run through. All right, so I've cleared the calibration. And now we're gonna do a standard calibration. So we're gonna remove the probe from storage, which I was reminded you want to always rinse these off. Uh, with good clean filtered water or RO. Because the storage solution is really salty and it can throw off your measurements. So get into this. So we're in a standard calibration. And it says use the 70 first. Seven is green juice. And now it's four. We're going to want to rinse it off in between. the four. And once it's done, <clears throat> it'll just jump back out to the main menu. 
and you know you're done. So here's my city water, which will take time to temperature adjust. But you can see, once it's calibrated, it goes straight into ready to read mode. One thing about taking a reading on here, another thing that's really nice is it's got this little timer that blinks that tells you to just wait. It's working on the accuracy, getting the pH down to the 100th um, takes time because pH is temperature dependent. It's going to wait for that temperature to stabilize before it tells you it's got an accurate reading. It also tells you too up here the calibration is in the four and seven. Those two little over the top. So you know if you're in standard or quick calibration mode, this would be standard. Okay, now we can cut to the chase. Um, the timer has quit blinking, so that you know this is about as accurate as it's going to get. 7.0, 0 .48. If you want to switch between millisiemens, if you're more used to EC, this is set at the 500 or 0.5 scale. So that's millivolts, uh, 0.48 EC. It's equal to 230 parts per million. It tells you which scale you're using right there, which is handy. Um, this is outside of my pay grade for that scale, but it shows you the actual voltage that the probe is reading. And um, yeah, that's it. That's the standard calibration and measurement. So we'll do the quick calibration next. All right, so we just did the standard calibration. Now I'm gonna go into the menu from before. So hold the button. Past that, past that, into setup, and we're going to go to quick cal. So that's set. So now we're going to go hold the power button. It says quick cal, and when I have these four and seven solutions sitting around. They sit around for a really long time. Um, these green and pink solutions from <clears throat> GH, you never know um, when they get exposed to oxygen, they can actually fluctuate. So the quick cal comes in these little foil packs, which I always thought was kind of dumb, but you know that the solution inside of that thing is unadulterated and you also know you know you just stick it in there and what it does is it actually calibrates <clears throat> the pH and the EC all at once um, and when it's done it's done it just goes back out to the main screen so uh, that's pretty rad as far as I'm concerned um, 6.86 and it's a 5 molar solution so it's gonna drift a little bit out of calibration but take it from there Let's take it back into our 4.0 solution just to test it. And technically this calibration should be more accurate than probably this really old 4.01 solution. And yeah, this solution so old that it's actually measuring over, it's drifted up a little bit. It's not quite done, but um, once it gets there, it'll show, yeah, so 4.1 instead of 4.01, so it's off by a tenth of a point because this solution's so old. So, quick cow for the win, and uh, 
yeah, it makes it a lot easier, but it's also good to know that you, if you all you've got is some seven and four, or even just some seven on hand, you can do a standard calibration to that. All right, that's the quick count solution. All right, <clears throat> a couple final thoughts on this uh, Hannah Growline 9814 all in one meter. Um, the quick cal solution is really awesome because it does the pH and the EC at once. Um, if you don't have that or you need to order it and all your hydro shop has is some 4 and 7, you can do a standard calibration, which is handy because most everybody's got these sitting around from old meters. Um, one thing to note is that this little protective rubber green boot, I think they've even got different colors maybe, um, sold separately, definitely recommend it. Anytime you, if you for whatever reason had to warranty a probe and got a new probe, you're going to want to clear the calibration in between and recalibrate the new probe uh, because the meter and the probe are technically independent of each other and they need to talk to each other. Um, let's see, yeah, the little thing is bomber. I've had this thing running for almost six months now and the battery is still registering 100%. Um, something to note. Always store your solution, store your probe in the proper solution. It comes in another one of these little packets, little sachets. Um, it's just gonna be better for your electronics if you do it. It's gonna be more accurate for longer. And they also have um, a cleaning solution, which comes in another little packet that it's good to have on hand or go get one maybe every six months or so, clean the thing, and then make sure your calibrations are tight. It'll tell you if it drifts out of calibration. There's um, a probe indicator mode in here that you can get into with standard calibrations that'll actually tell you the health of the probe. It only monitors the health of the probe for 12 hours. Um, I'm not sure how valuable that feature is, but there's something in there if somebody wants to get to that level. The temperature reading, the readout, everything's really accurate. I've had a really easy time using this. The hardest part about it is getting into the menu, getting in, getting everything set up and getting familiar with it. Once you do that with the quick cow, it's kind of no going back. Um, it's a really durable meter and it's got a really good reputation for taking care of people if the stuff doesn't work. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the Hanna Growline 9814. Um, hope this helps you guys out. I know that some of the instructions and tutorials for this video are maybe a little outdated for the other version of this meter. So I'm gonna break down these clips into individual help tutorials for people who are troubleshooting their products. But um, yeah, that's it. Nice little meter and uh, hope it works out for you. Thanks, thanks for watching. Elijah Muhammad has to rewrite history or retell history. And since the white man